Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Cursor Blade, a bullet hell roguelike where you are the cursor that I'm excited to be checking out again here today. Played the demo about three months ago. I thought it was really neat, but also very small. So, hey, now it's out on Steam. Let's pop on in and see what it's all about. We got these extra unlockable characters as well. There's already one in the demo. Cursor Blade Dodge Spin on the ability. There was not abilities before, but Cursor Blade, your cursor, your blade. You can swipe through enemies. If you touch them while they're angry like that, you take damage. Simple as that. So I say bullet hell, and I mean bullet hell because there will be bullets later. Right now, not so much. So choose a weapon. Chance to drop a star to attack random enemies. Chance for dead enemies to summon a ghost that attacks other enemies. Chance to freeze enemies. Let's go ahead and go for... Uh, I don't remember this one. We also have a spin on right click. I'm assuming it's going to be iframes. Otherwise, what's the point? Should we chance it? Let's do it. Yeah, it's iframes, but it also doesn't do damage. So I'm probably not going to use it very much as a result. Like, I don't know. A lot of times if you take damage in this, it's not going to be like very reactionary damage. Uh, invincible every 10 seconds. Enemies take longer to attack at the start of the wave. Deal one more damage for every 10 combo you have. Max five stacks. Uh, that seems good. But so does invincibility. I'll go for this. Oh. Chance for enemies to fire out quills on death. Chance to attach a bomb to an enemy. Chance to do triple damage. Let's do that. Let's get, let's get crits, man. Enemies taking longer at the start of the wave does sound really nice. Since clearing out enemies, it's weird. The, the longer the wave goes on, it's not like enemies continue to spawn or anything. So the longer the wave goes on, it just, it just gets easier. Drops a missile to attack random enemies. Toxic spores around you, dealing damage to enemies in range. Fire trail that burns enemies. Does this just happen all the time or... Do I have to... Wait... Is it when I hit things, or was that just... Hello, sir. I'm sorry. I'm going to toy with you for a moment. Okay. You definitely... I have to hit things <laughs> to make it happen. It doesn't say... Well, okay. This says chance to drop. It should say on hit chance. Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. Click to burn. Let's get a shooting star. Ooh. Okay, so we got a couple enemies that are actually doing a little bit of a uh, bullet action there. Yeah, the chaos around the screen as we uh, start slapping enemies is kind of nice. Drops more stars on random enemies. I think... When we fill up these, we just start getting upgrades for only the weapons we have. We have rerolls too, but... I think getting some shooting star upgrades sounds nice. Oh, boy. Oh, that one took so long to spin around. I got, got. Oh, they're out of sync. That's not good. There we go. Because these guys are obviously not nearly as bad. You just got to watch out as things get, like, a little bit hectic with the, you know, extra effects on the screen. Hearts drop from enemies more frequent. <laughs> Pull our sword, you deal damage when you take damage. Nah. Chance for dead enemies to summon a ghost. Spawn orbiting cactus that deals damage to enemies. Sure. Because, yeah, if we can get a little bit of uh, start of wave chaos going, that's good. Because, like I said, the beginning of the wave is by far the scariest. It just gets easier from there. Zoop. So if we can just trim that down right away, we're all good. Chance to create a saw blade that deals damage over time to enemies. Let's just get that and we'll have our full suite. Ooh, there's a heart. Of course. <laughs> okay, doesn't matter. Do doesn't matter, they spawn two for me. Higher chance to drop a missile, drop more stars to random enemies, chance for triple. I mean, I'll be real, I want them all. They're all good. Ooh. Does that guy explode when he dies? Yes. Or at least when he's touched. 
54 bucks there. Chance for freeze drops more. I like the higher chance to freeze. Because it seems like it's a full-on stun. Like, it's like the best case scenario for a freeze that you, you could get, aside from it, like, also doing damage. Which, come on. What are you, greedy? Deal one more slash damage when you complete a wave, but stack is lost. But a stack is lost when you take damage? All stacks are lost, I'm assuming. There's a little bit of translation here. That... Just don't get hit, forehead. I do like the saw blade. Okay. Oh boy. So when you kill, ooh, when you kill the ones that are about to attack, they split into ones that are also about to attack. Okay. Hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. Hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. Can we do triple damage on anything except for our swipe? I don't know. Okay, yeah. A little chaotic. Got in, get out. Get in, get out. So we're, we're, we're able to keep our combo there. Don't you touch me. Cactus sounds nice. Missile sounds nice. Missile also does like some screen shake that makes some things hard to see as well, but whatever. Let's just go for it. Using our freeze. Okay. So that guy does an AoE. Definite some chain reactions as far as our kill potential and their ability to do damage. You get hit once. There's like a little bit of a stutter frame. Feels like it's pretty easy to just get hit again in that time. I don't know what these numbers are, you know? A chance to. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that's good. Is there a settings for nerds? No. Add two max hearts. Deal double damage briefly after taking damage. Let's just stop taking damage. How about that? Invincibility sounds good. Some, the magnet's probably not bad either. Okay. Invincible. Alright. God, the music. I've heard this music is so many indie games at this point. It's to be clear as well before anyone says something. It's not stolen! It's licensed or in a free pack or something. Don't, it's not stolen. Saw blade. I'll go for the saw blade so we can focus on the enemies where we're actually attacking a little bit better. Oh, that was an easy wave. Ooh, that was an easy wave. What the hell, man? Same same reasoning there. Uh, oh! Okay, these guys are new. Wave 17. I can't remember how many waves was in the demo, but it wasn't a ton. What do we... Gotta enter the gungeon flail? Or, well, like a link to the past flail. Uh-oh. See, look at the freeze there. Look how much the freeze helped. That guy was about to attack, but we just were able to face tank him, and it didn't matter. Deal an extra slash damage per missing heart. Spawn an orbiting shield that blocks projectiles. Restore two hearts. Restores two hearts when you pick up a heart. That seems crazy. Uh, okay. Dinosaur charges up a fire blast. I'm invincible. Yeah, let's focus fire. I do... Ooh, do love the saw blade. What is happening, man? I'm invincible right there. We could just keep on waiting until we're invincible and then go back in. But that... First of all, that sounds so boring. Second of all, it doesn't last that long, but I will try and go crazy like that when we get it. It's the meat grinder wave. Just trying to save... Yeah, there we go. Aww. 
I got a 300 combo achievement. I wouldn't mind the extra 2 max HP now that we have the extra 2 from healing. Uh, thank you. Oh, wow. Thank you, Invincibility. I don't know if hearts despawn. If hearts do despawn, we want to pick them up right away. If they don't despawn, we want to save them. Was this in shop-like, I think, we played recently? I think so. Let's get target, though. Should be a pretty notable damage increase. Freeze him! Oh, that was risky. I'm feeling no... I'm feeling no desire to use my dodge roll spin ever. I, To be clear, it's not OMG man forgot about it. It's... Eh, we can't do damage during... I would much prefer it was a slow cooldown. I'd much prefer the cooldown was three times as long, but you can do damage during it. I think that would be fun. Yeah, let's try and max out target. Come on, freeze. Invincible. And, of course, the invincibility. See, that's why I didn't want to rely on it. Yep. Bloop. Yeah, it goes to hell. When you start, when things start to go to hell, they super go to hell in this game. Yeah, that right there is basically the time to use it. I, I knew if I took a hit there, I could still get back up to full. Oh boy. It's basically if we're trapped in a corner... Well, like that, and we need to get out. Rip. Let's get that freeze up. Because if we can just reliably get a freeze right in the beginning on the scariest of enemies, then we're all good, man. Target's maxed. Spin. Okay. Yeah, we go in with our shield... While we're invincible, get the freeze on, on anything that would be anything, and we're all good. I keep on thinking that's an enemy. Damage to enemies after taking damage, revive with the heart on death. I uh, could shield that blocks projectiles. What else are we dealing with? Reduce max health for enemies. Double damage at the start of the wave. I mean, I want both of those. Come on, I'm ready. Let's... Get a little bit of cactus going. Oh my god, ding dong. Okay, I, I do see it, but let's just wait and make sure we don't take damage. Or go in so we can take damage. Maximum chance to freeze. Imagine it was just 100%. Seems good. Sawblade, let's max that bad boy out. Did we get that, um... Enemies take longer to attack at the beginning of the wave? Did we get that? I don't think so. That'd be really good for the stupidity we are getting up to right now. Yeah. With the freeze mixed in and everything. Invincible. Go. Really good timing on the invincibility. Enemies take longer to attack you at the start of each wave. I'll be the judge of that. Yeah, I'd say so. They gave me enough time to just be a degenerate right there for sure. Max saw blades. Yeah, we have a beginning of wave burst build and it is wrecking stuff for sure. Okay. Gotta wait for that spin to go away. Good, good, good. How many waves are there, man? Okay, just get anything that is not the standard blob out of the way. We could just be boring and go boop, 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 without even ever putting ourselves in danger, but why would I do that? Reduce max health for enemies sounds great. Helps with that initial burst. What did it cost? One heart. Okay. Sneak in. Yeah, because this is the thing. If you if you let them play, 
you have to deal with that. Okay, that was a spin. That was a spin moment for sure. Whoop. Max Cactus. Oh, boy. Go ham, go ham, go ham. The laser beam has an even longer startup than it looks. From the little robo boys. Oh, my God. If we line up the invincibility with the... Long invincibility after taking damage, orbiting shield that blocks incoming projectiles, revive on death. I'm gonna... Here, I wanna check something. So we do this, and then we... Yeah. Oh, no! It's gonna say, and then we get our shielding for the start of the wave. Just wait. Breed. Oh! <laughs> okay. Watch it, watch it. Got the little bee cannon down there. The cactus goes away too, right? Yep. Got an achievement for a hundred thousand score. I don't know if this is the kind of game that has it. I went for it. I went for it. Went for ooh, went for it. I don't know if it's the kind of game with an end or not, or if it's just a high score chaser. Come on, I have frames. Invincibility shield, please. Thank you. Go, 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 go. Ding dong. Give me heart. Give me heart. Nope. I'm assuming... So the demo had an end, but that's, you know, it's a demo. Okay. Ooh. Try to be careful. Get everything remotely scary out of the way. Thank you. It's stupid. We could get this and then, like, you could go for the poison as well. The poison AoE. And you just don't enter the domain of the slimes ever. Missile maxed out. It's definitely feeling like a, um, like a wave 50 joint. Oh, we've got go, 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 go. We have a shield on. <laughs> the freaking rockets. Oh my god, I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Okay. Oh my god. Thank you. Invisibility go. It's getting kind of crazy. It's matching crazy with crazy here. <laughs> Why would I re-roll? I would get another one of all my other weapons. Okay. I should have used those. Should have used that shield. Go, 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 go. Let's go. <laughs> Screen shake. Kind of knew it. Let's use the iframes. We did not have them. Spin. Shield, heart, okay. Shield on. Yeah. It's getting to the point where everything is not impossible to follow, but like it's, it's a visual nightmare. Drop a heart, somebody drop a heart. Nope. I stopped getting passives. I tried to go in there with my spin for that. You jerks. Go, 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 go crazy. Get the heart. There we go. I knew I could go wild there and come out with full health. Go, 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 go. Have faith. Let's go. <laughs> 
Yeah, if you can clear out a lot of the wave in the first, like, few seconds, it's so much, so much easier. So, level 8 max. Come on, shield. Saw the heart there, too. I don't know what happened there. But I'll just say, sure. Fair. Fair that it happened. Somebody drop a heart, please. Stupid. Stupid, stupid. Oh! Whoa! Final wave. Presumably. Presumably. I think we can just go ham at this point. If it's done... Wave 50? We're done getting upgrades! Okay, I don't... If wave 50 is not the end, then I think that this is a high score chaser. I did not get any more achievements for score. Okay. Because I'm also not seeing any new enemies at this point. Okay. Kill me. Kill me, I want to try a new build. If this is... If I can't, um... Yeah, if I can't buy any more upgrades, I kind of want to just do a new build, huh? Spin there. A little bit of chaos. A little bit of chaos won't hurt. Alright. Boop, boop, boop. Where'd my shield go? Ah, let's just start spinning. Anyway, I started swinging. I'm bored. I'm bored of just sitting there. I want to attack. Yeah, how much can we do just by spinning in a circle right away? Since we have the increased heart drop. It's pretty... It's pretty good that we could just do that. It would eventually lead to us dying. We also lose combo, obviously, for doing something like that. No, we don't, because combo does not carry over in between waves. Oh, I'm gonna die here. And honestly, I'm I'm ready for it. I kind of want to see the other characters, see what else we're working with. Okay. I die, I die. I was kind of hoping for, like, a boss. I think that'd be really interesting to see what you could do with something like that in a game like this. Whoop, spin. Oh, we had a shield on, too. We didn't even need to spin. They're also getting a lot of health, I'm noticing. Enemy HP is going up. Okay. Go, 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 go. Yeah, the shield seems OP. For those situations, we just have to do like a little bit of normal bullet hell dodging. Oh, I thought we had iframes. Take me. Take me, I'm ready. Uh, I don't want to throw. I just want to I want to die on good terms. All right. Maybe wave 100's the end, but I kind of doubt at this point, that there's anything other than continual infinite scaling. I think it's a score chaser. Oh no. I think my build's too strong. Should we just spin in a circle and see how long it takes until we... until we pass? Honestly, it will not... Look at that. It, it will not take long. If you're just flailing wildly, you do die. If you're thinking I'm just... Look at that. Kill me. If you're thinking it's just like, oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. He's just swinging. There you go. There's the proof. Okay, so the good news is that does give you enough credits to buy 
another character. I think this one's the one that was in the demo, so let's start here. Ability slow enemy projectiles. Let's find that here. Ability stone wall. Starts with more max hearts, deals less damage. Let me just see what the ability is, and then I'm going to play the other one. Heh. Probably blocks bullets. Okay. Slow enemy projectiles. Bloop. Let's maybe, uh, I'll tell you what, let's get up to 100,000, because it looks like, let me, let me pause and check the achievements here. Yep, 100,000 score is the highest you get rewarded for, so anything past that is, I would consider that to be the quote-unquote win. You get an achievement for, you get an achievement for 50,000 with a cursor, and you get an achievement for 100,000 with a cursor. There is no winning, it is just high score. So that's that. Uh, chance to inflict burn. I didn't have... Um, I don't think I had either of these, did I? Slow enemy projectiles on right click. I don't know. I feel like... What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, as much as I didn't use the other one that much, I don't know how much more I would use this one. I'd use them in the same situations for what it's worth. I will take the reduce health on enemies, higher chance to inflict burn. I'm just going to grab the same thing for now. We're the Aqua Blade, but we do burn. Dead enemies can summon a ghost that track to other enemies. Let's, let's go double in on the fire here for a sec, just because it sounds funny to me. Let's see how slow. Seems fine. <laughs> I don't know. It seems all right. Sticky bomb. Okay. Release a lightning bolt that jumps to all nearby enemies. I feel like I remember that being good. Oh god, I was I was wanting to watch the little bee bomb get stuck in a bubble. It was as fun as I thought, but whatever. Slash damage for missing hearts. Reduce projectile speed. I mean, okay. I'll tell you what. The thought of both of those working to reduce sounds funny to me. Enemies can fire out quills on death. I kind of want to go for sort of like a... I was going to say an elemental, but then I would go for the ice as well. I'll get the fire. I do think the ice is really good. Okay, so those are moving very slow. I guess that's the thing. The cooldown for it is really small. Fire a laser that pierces through enemies. Did we have that? I'm not sure. All right, final thing. We could go for the shroom. Porcupine. Let's go for porcupine. Porcupine. Okay. Let's go for higher chance to bomb. It does require us to... This is definitely like a more, more chain reaction build. Like the porcupine alone. Double damage at the start of the wave. I think is a must. It seems dumb. I'll admit, I'm uh, I'm trying a little bit less hard. <laughs> uh, you go like this for 25 minutes. Guess what? You start to stop doing it as well. You're like, yeah, hey, yeah. Okay, I need to slow down because yeah, there you go. There's your proof. You definitely can become deceased if you're not trying. It's not that the game is easy. It's just, it's simple. It's simple, not necessarily easy. It can be easy. 
Seems like you can pick some pretty broken stuff. Like, it looks like Freeze is pretty busted. Bomb seems really good. Double damage at the start of the wave seems kind of nuts. Then again, this is all based off of not knowing the numbers for many of those things. Heal 2 when you pick up a heart seems fundamentally busted. Okay, back it up, back it up. I do miss my invincibility shield. That, that thing I also think is really good. I definitely think that there is... It's one of those games where there's going to be a relatively... Oh, I thought the, <laughs> it was off screen. A relatively solved... Like, high score build, I'm guessing. Like, oh, you want a high score? Okay, well then pick this. I think it's going to be one of those. I can go crazy because there's hearts on the ground. Nope. Never mind. I picked it up. The lightning seems not bad, too. Hello, sir. I'm not feeling very compelled. I feel like the abilities, the right-click abilities so far aren't good enough to feel like they're worth using. If it was like a, you know... I feel like... I don't know. I don't know. I feel like you could do something aggr more aggressive. Like a, you know, right-click and you do a little AoE damage pulse around you. Or something like that. Or right-click and your next... You can just, like, right-click and then you can, you know, for blank seconds, you do double damage. I think you could have a more exciting, more usable one. And maybe some of the other characters have that. Because right, right now... I know I'm not using the abilities, and like maybe I. Oh, that was I was wondering. And maybe I should. But they are not very compelling. They kind of just feel like they're. They're there. I wish they were like a little stronger. Wow, idiot man. Okay. I don't know, man. Whatever, fine. With the extra two higher chance to burn, they should be basically be, like, definitely on fire, right? Heart. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I don't know, yeah. Maybe if there were, or maybe even if like the different quote unquote characters had unique passives or something. The burn as well is adding a little bit to the chaos of making it hard to tell when an enemy is attacking, specifically slimes. Because there's like a little bit too much visual chaos going on on them for you to be able to tell. Yeah, like right there. For you to be able to even tell if they're angry or not. Okay, sweep, sweep. Oh god! Oh, he's hiding up there. Ah, he's hiding up by the freaking. Ah, you son of a gun! I hate you. I hate you. All right, all right. We beefed it there. Not much more to say other than I beefed it. Drop a heart for me, you greedy son of a so-and-so. Sticky bomb max. Oh god. See, this is what I'm talking about. It, slowing down bullets is... In a lot of these games, it's actually kind of a trap. You think it's gonna be good. And it's like, eh, no. You're right. Never mind. Uh, let's try Halo. Oh, it gives me an actual little Halo. On the... On the character. I... I want it because it feels like I might be using it in a second, because hearts aren't dropping. Because we don't have the increased heart drop thing. Which is another one where I'm like, I think in the future I would feel like I have to take it. Wah, 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 wah. Wah, 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 wah. 
Okay. I'll, I'll go for the fire max. Small wave. Strange. We got the burn for the single target. Ooh, there... There needs to be some, like, normalized RNG on the hearts. Because that keeps happening. Did we go for... We went three waves without any, and then we got so many at the exact same time? Additional slash for every combo. I'm trying to do something different. I'll get adrenaline. So now if I take damage, you know, maybe it's fine. But like I said, I'm going to stop at uh, about 100,000. Or like wave, I don't know, 30 or something. Because since I know that it's an endless kind of a thing, I'm not really much of an endless guy. I, I, I like a, a, a firm ending. So I know when to whoop, call it quits without having to like say, all right, well, I'm going to just die now on runs where you're doing, like, very, very well. Yeah, I, I don't think that the bullet slows <laughs> is very good. Blip, blip. Extra slash damage for every combo. Heart drops more frequent. Sure. That'll that'll get us to 100,000. For sure. Yep. I guess maybe if I couldn't dodge bullet hell bullets, I would like to slow down more, but it's like, if you can dodge them while they're going at this speed, it's bad for them to be slower. Because then we can't like flail around as much. Which in in this game, flailing around is a good thing because that's just how you, it's how you do damage. It's the thing you do. It's not just like, that makes it sound like it's a bad thing. I feel like it's decent for these guys. I'll go for Hourglass. Go ham. Whoop, whoop. What's doing all that single target? I don't know what's doing all the single target. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, right there, it was... That was useful. That was the first time where I'm like, okay, I probably would have taken... Okay, I can actually just go crazy for it. And take damage and do more damage that way. Lower health, more damage for us. Oops, that was not good, though. Lower health is more damage, so if there's hearts on the ground, I might as well take damage. Some of the waves are just so short that it's kind of funny. Bye-bye. Pull in hearts. I I'm not going to go for the invincibility, not because I don't think it's good, because I think it's probably, like, the best. Porcupine. For that start of wave explosion. Whoop. Go, 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 go. Back it up. Yeah. Because you have to, like, wait for them to get out of position. Um. Um. Let's go. The music. Do I have a heart around? Nope. Nor do I need it. Uh-oh. I was- I thought I had the, the- the dodge roll on. I was actually trying to use that. I got hit by a bullet that was off-screen down there by backing up. Putting a bomb on somebody and then pushing him in. There's my 100,000. I'll tell you what. We'll go until I die, because I feel like- or no, we'll go until- either A, until I die, or B until uh, wave 50? Whichever one's first, I think it'll probably be dying. 
Because I'm kind of just flailing at this point. Because you stop getting upgrades. You, you stop getting upgrades at a certain point here, and I think it's about weight 50. Funny and... Oh, see? See? Oh, God. Yeah. Funny and... No, uh, yeah, this is not good. The slowdown is just worse than the dodge. A hundred percent. It's so much worse. <laughs> Magma lasts longer, sure. I'm trying to get more out of that that initial burst. Oh god. Yeah. Bring it on. 46. I see a heart. Just go for it. Oh god. It's just a minefield. I don't know. Zoop. Trying to make sure that I'm not completely off base about the uh, the bullet speed, but I don't I don't think I am. I think it's just it's one of those things that if you are a new player to a game like something like this or a new person to a genre like this, it probably looks really good, but I think it's a noob trap item, 100%. The, so the snail and this character. But we already got the achievement for this character, so theoretically we wouldn't have to play it again. Boop, boop, doo, 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 doo. Almost maxed out. We want to just go crazy in the beginning to put down the uh, the fire trail, especially. Oh, God. Yeah, this wave is... See, it's not helpful for us to uh, slow down their bullets. Oh, God. The revive, I forgot. I thought I was free. I thought I was free. We're maxed. All right. Kill me. Kill me. I've had enough. Send me. I got my my maxed out build. Kill me now. I had a dream it would end this way. Where even am I? How did I get so many hearts? I'm trying. Okay. I just shouldn't have moved. I thought it'd be funny. Wait, look at the heart trying to follow me. That's so funny. Okay. Alrighty. Take me away. Yeah, 100,000 is the highest thing you can get rewarded. You get rewarded for in this game. And I got 150,000. And the other one, I think I got, what, like 200,000? I don't know, man. You could go for quite a freaking while, but I got uh, almost everything unlocked in the game as well there. Pop Blade. Freeze nearby. Okay. Hold on, just for science. That is so much better than all the other ones. That's not even funny. Huh. So if you freeze them in an attack, you can kill them. Okay. That's so much better than all the other ones. <laughs> the pop blade, this is the... Just don't waste your time. Unlock this one. If, you, if you're looking for high score, I don't know what this one is, but out of these four, it's like, it's not even close. A freeze is so much more useful than the others. The, the dodge, I do think it has its use cases when you're on like wave 50 and up, when there's like a big bullet spam coming towards one side of the screen, like, whoop, like a wall that's impossible to dodge. You can just go spin it and then go to the other side. But alas, alas, that's that. That's going to do it here for today for Cursor Blade. Thank you for watching. If you want to pick up the game for yourself, it is on Steam right now. I believe it's five bucks. I, you know, I paid the five bucks. Do I regret it? No. Do I think it's slightly high for what we've got here? Eh, I think it's fine. I think it's, I think it's fine. As long as you're somebody who likes to go for a high score chase kind of a thing then I think that that's a, a fair price. Uh, but I can, I can see some people wanting to see if there's a ton of content in the game to figure out if it's worth that price. And you will have seen, basically, in this 45 minutes, 
I could unlock, I'll tell you what, I'm going to save this one for you to figure out what that one is. Uh, but you got these five different characters. You're supposed to get 100,000 on all of them. And then if you do that, mixed with uh, get a 300 combo achievement, which I did that too, then you've 100 percented the game. So it's a smaller game. Keep that in mind. And that being said, it's a very fun concept that I hope, I don't know, I hope it gets expanded on even more. Alas, alas. Thank you for watching. My name is Retromation. Covering any games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites. If that is something you are into, this is a channel that you should most definitely be subscribed to. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.